line. Sun just beginning to become a factor down that end. I tell you, Wozniak is going to have to come up with some phenomenal tennis to cope with, with this opponent. Slight worry with the heavy strapping right thigh. The good news is there isn't any tape on her troublesome shoulder. This is Caroline's 13th main draw appearance here, as you mentioned a little earlier, Virginia, twice a finalist lost back in 2009 to Kim Kleisters. What an emotional mm. day that was. And five years ago to Serena Williams. That was a very good match. I believe they went out to partying afterwards <laughs> until the early hours because uh, they are best of friends. Yeah, and Caroline has a place in the city. Well, uh, well, she certainly did. Now she's got married. I'm not sure if she still does. Why not? On the line. 15, 20. I mean, you, if you, and that is uh, the lucky man who married Caroline, David Lee. All six foot 11 of him, former, <laughs> former player for the New York Knicks. This is a part of town he knows very well. Yeah, I stood next to him today a little earlier too, and he was, he was towering over me. Well, for Caroline, that is the sort of typical tennis she's going to try to employ. Steady, 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 putting on a little bit of a lift, a top spin roll on the balls, but she can't afford to make any errors with her defense. of starts from the young Canadian and Virginia the youngsters are just starting to catch up with Caroline aren't they the last few weeks you out in the second round in Toronto the tournament this lady won to Iga Skiovontek uh, I know someone that you like the young Polish girl very much last year's junior Wimbledon champion and then bundled out of Sydney the Western Southern Open by Daniana Jastrzemska who made the third round here losing yeah, to Svitolina yesterday another teenager Another brilliant young teenager. And there were plenty of good teenagers who didn't make it mm -hmm. through rounds. You know, they were, had tough matches to play. Oh! Andreescu, of course, rates her model and her hero as uh, Simona Halep, who is back home in Romania, I would think, back home somewhere. Very impressive, Simona having disappeared in her match. Simona Halep being the Romanian star who we all thought was going to cause all the top players uh, trouble, I mean the other top players trouble, and who of course won Wimbledon. So a little example of what Andreescu can do with this drop shot, but it wasn't her best drop shot. I promise you we're going to see better ones than that. Great run by Caroline.
30-15. Very close on the baseline. Sometimes you even need to challenge that just to see by how much you missed that. It will be interesting to see if this young woman can hit through Wozniacki as she did at the start of the year down in Auckland, where she won in straight sets. Wozniacki rather likes New York, though. Has had a lot of success here. That's to get the immediate break back. And played on this court multiple mm. times. Game Wozniacki. Wozniacki not prepared to let the youngster get away just yet. One game on for sets. Yes, interestingly, when I was up in the commentary box a little earlier, Andrescu finished her practice and then Corey Goff came out. She's playing late. So she's playing the first night match on here tonight. She'd never played on this court before. And interesting that she chose to come in early and then relax for the rest of the day. Well, I, th I thought it was interesting that Bianca said, I've never played on a court as big as this, but it's not that much bigger than Indian Wells. Indian Wells is a massive mm. stadium. That's around about 16,000. Yeah. I think there's an extra tier here. Yeah, yeah. Well, and it's also, this course is wide. 59. I mean, some of the matches that she did win in Indian Wells, she would get ahead and then she would have a bit of a scared patch and get herself into trouble. But she always managed, uh, Bianca always managed to squeeze her way out of them, tough mentally. 30-15. Uh, you know, you can't against uh, Wozniacki, you can't just stand there and Expect every ball to come perfectly to you so you can hit it the, the same. It's going to, everyone's going to be different. Yes, she's up against a wily customer in Wozniacki, who has, over the last decade or so, been one of the great match players out there. If you look at the numbers, who's got right up there, saving break points, converting them, and it's usually Caroline. When she first was coming to the top, it, you would see her survive crises so well. The Dane will really Game relish Vosniaki. this battle. So a couple of early breaks. Start of this second set, we're back on serve. Vosniaki Vosniaki leads leads by two games to two one, one for first set. set. Well, as always happened, the fans held at one love. So a load of them are all sort of piling down the gangways and the walkways right now. And the bottom tier is really filling up very quickly to see the uh, to see this youngster play. Let first us certainly going to be a bigger star even than she already is. It, well, I, it's a bit of a worry that chronic shoulder injury she, injury she has, but hopefully she'll temper her play. Oh, bad luck. 15 off. 
Yeah, just talking about that shoulder injury, I think it's something that she's had for a while, but it really f flared up very badly after the win in Indian Wells. So many tough matches, beating Muguruza, Svitolina, Epic against Kerber. Then she went the following week almost to Miami, played a lot of matches, and then we didn't see her again until the French Open, where she had to retire. And I hear they were talking about, mm, does she have surgery or not? They held off. And the next time we saw her was a few weeks ago, winning the Rogers Cup. Mm. Talking about how Caroline just gets every ball back and rolls some in and changes the slice and all. She used to have trouble hitting down the line on the forehand. It used to be just a predominantly cross court shot, her forehand. And now she's definitely added a good forehand down the line to her repertoire. Like that. I think she missed that because she saw 30, that 50. Caroline had predicted which way she was going to hit and she saw Caroline moving over there just to where she was going to hit. And that is another of Wozniacki's strengths. Her anticipation is faultless. Let for service. Forty fifteen. That's one of the things that makes this young woman so good is she is prepared to come in, take the ball in the air. Game. Adresco. Two games off so for Two sets. breaks, two holds. Reminder, usopen.org, there's a fabulous app that you can download from that site. It'll give you all the scores and stats and everything you need. Love 15. In many ways, Virginia, this is sort of a great immigrant story with these two, because if you think about it, Caroline's mother and father emigrated from Poland to Denmark, made a great success of their lives there. And Bianca is the daughter of Romanian immigrants as well. But then she went, she was born in Canada, but she went they, back they to went Romania. Back. Yep. And that was why I was, when she started to play tennis, her heroine Law was 13. Simona Halep. Halep, who is, is she, how old is Halep's Simona? About, is it Halep's or she's about trans. seven or eight years older than her? Yeah, a yeah, bit more. She's, Bianca is 19, Halep is, I think, 27 yep. now. So, so, so she would have been the person mm -hmm. she modeled her game on, although she hits the ball harder, let's face it, and serves harder than Halep. Fifteen. She came back to the States when she was 11. I think it had a lot to do with her mother Maria's work, who was a top compliance officer, her father's an engineer. Back to Canada. Yeah, they came back when she was 11 and she immediately got in the, uh, the Canadian uh, program and hasn't looked back. Oh! How many good players have they got in the men and the women? 
Felix Scher, Elias, was phenomenal. He didn't do too well here, but he lost to another 15, wonderful young Canadian, Shapovalov. A lot of pressure on that second serve, isn't there, Virginia? Because Andriska gives it a clip. And no chance to break the Dane serve right here. Thirty forty. Tara right, said as she went on to the court that she was happy with the way her serve was and that's something she's worked on over the years. From being just a, a good serve, it's become a very good serve. But you're right, you don't want to be hitting too many second serves against somebody like Andreescu. Views. Got away with that one. Not the easiest situation to play in with the sun and the shadow. Yeah, it'll take a probably about another half an hour to completely move over this court. Advantage Wozniaki. A few too many errors coming off the Andreescu racket at the moment. You know, she doesn't actually have to go for such a Big shot all the time. Well done. Game Wozniacki. Wozniacki and she hangs on and we remain on serve after a couple of breaks in this Wozniacki opening set. Wozniacki leads by three games to two for a set. Bianca Andrescu trying to be a teenager to get into the fourth round here at the US Open. That hasn't happened very often. Trying to lead the youth into the second week. Fault. Just out. Going for Hello, 15. What is the, which, which is the more difficult end at the moment? Light to shade or shade I, to light? I never know. I mean, I think it's very difficult if the ball's coming out of the shadow into the bright, but it's equally <laughs> difficult if it's coming suddenly into the darkness. So both sides are tough. Struggling with some of the accuracy and pace from Wozniacki. Apart from that opening game, Caroline has actually played pretty carefully. Very few errors from her. Only seven, almost twice as many from Bianca. I mean, if you think about it, Andreescu really is a complete player. I mean, she's got power, she's got a good serve, she's got very good of both sides. She's got tremendous determination, and her concentration will only improve, and her knowledge of how to play the, the take advantage of some of the aggressive shots she hits. No problem with that. Yes, I always remember you saying from many years ago when we shared a commentary box, the first smash of the day is always an awkward one. I have always say yeah. that. There were, I, was I logged it, logged it, Virginia. I was watching somebody else who had two smashes in the opening game. I thought that, that's so good for them because now they won't worry about it. God forbid you get a smash at four all and yeah. 30 all, and it's your first smash of the day, and you go up and you think, oh my goodness. <laughs> Package. Oh. Just shot. 
It just hits the slightly smoother yeah, paint. Forty fighting. This is how the Vieira Souza, even the umpires are double barreled these days. So very experienced, doing a nice job. Hold from 15:30. Game, Andresco. Free game zone, first set. You know, just thinking of the shadow when the ball's coming so fast at you, and you really do want to be looking at it pretty carefully. So, I think, I think in the end, it's harder when you're in the shadow. Not getting to see that ball perfectly. And there it is. Love that, 15. That was a thing of beauty, that drop shot. And off the harder side to execute a drop shot, off the forehand side. What is that? Oh, you know, Sam, you... I know, <laughs> but I'd like to know. I'd also <laughs> I'd like to know exactly why. Uh, I'll have to think about a simple way of answering it. Is, it is hard. It is harder, but why? You probably take, you know, on a forehand in general, you take the ball... A little, well, no, I'm not even sure. I'm going to have to rethink that. Oh. And the, Love sm flirty. the smart thing was following it up with a volley because that's, that's what you really have to do if you hit a drop shot. You have to sneak in behind it and wait for them to push the ball up. Be ready for it. Spot of bother here for Caroline. Well handled there, good solid serve, 115. I believe that was her fastest serve, and boy, did she need it then. They're in the last game with this set of balls, so they're getting a little slower through the air. The 30 hour. Wow. This kid's good. Sensational. She showed us everything in that rally. She had to really retrieve uh, the first big shot from Caroline, and then she gets an aggressive shot and sneaks in, which is so smart. Big chance here. Even all those first serves game. can't extract Wozniacki from that particular service New balls, game. Please. And Andrescu ahead with the break, 4-3. She leads, leads by set. four games to three, first set. New balls, the teenager going very well here. Andrescu, 4-3 with the break. This game and love 15. Caroline showing us that forehand down the line, which used to be really difficult for her to hit with the, any fall uh, through momentum. She could hit it with a little bit of a loft, but now she really drives through it well. Give up. 15 now. Oh. I she's finding that easier. <laughs> Caroline likes to run everything down. I mean, that's one of her pride. Prides is to cover the court, and 
There is no way she can get to that. And to hit a drop shot of that quality on a hard court where the ball bounces up is uh, really, truly commendable. Can, can you think of one of the male players who hits drop shots off the forehand regularly? Curious. <laughs> and he lines up. He lines up as if he's going to nail it, yeah. and then suddenly produces this n shot with no velocity at all. Thirty on. Might notice she's got that sort of hair bandy scrunchy thing around her elbow. That is just a fashion accessory. It's something she ended up doing for one match. She won the match. You know what tennis players are like? Then it has to stay. So now it's part of her look, but it probably should be in her hair. A second serve opportunity for Wozniacki. Try and get a break back. Good rally. Caroline just going for the big shot down the line over the highest part of the net. Just over the Mercedes sign. Just got to give it a little extra clearance, that shot. The youngster, though, being made to, to hit an awful lot of balls by someone that uh, has twice been the year end world number one, was the Australian Open champion uh, in a spectacular final back at the start of last year. Huge experience across the other side of the net. Advantage, Andreescu. Almost her fastest serve at 108 miles an hour, but the new balls give it a little extra oomph. What good length. Yes. So many questions from people outside the game. Why do they look at the balls and then ask for three and then send one back? Well, for a tennis player, it's so obvious. You're looking for one that looks the newest because it's going to travel faster. Advantage. And you definitely want it on this court this year because I've seen the court pace index. index. I don't know if you've seen it. I and wish I had. Well, they, this court, according to the course pay, course, Court pace index CPI is slower than last year. Grandstand and Louis Armstrong are faster. Beautifully done. Well played. And that's the danger about yes. going for a drop shot too often. When you're playing somebody who's smart and fast, they're going to start reading it. Well handled. 
Well, I, I'm so glad you informed me about the pace of the court because, mind you, I thought that uh, it, look, it looked like Louis Armstrong was also a little slow and certainly grandstand. Advantage, well, Andreas. It starts to add up why many players are coming back with, with different views. Some saying, a lot of players saying it's faster. The USTO said they certainly tried to speed up some of the courts this year, but I'm just a little baffled why they didn't sort of get them all a little quicker. But well, they, it's because they have to replace mm -hmm. the court in rotation. What a well played. Game what a way to hang it. Yeah, there's a toughness about this teenager. Andrescu leads by five games to three. First set. If she gets into a spot of bother, she only works harder and focuses better. And just quickly going back to the court, they start off uh, resurfacing out in the fields, and this is probably the last court that mm -hmm. gets resurfaced. And I have to say that also with the coolish weather, it probably has been a factor that mm -hmm. it, uh, it, it's seemed a bit slower. 50 love. It's been a good opening half an hour or so. Wozniacki broken a couple of times though in this opening set and now finds herself serving to stay in it. She lost love. that completely, didn't she? Mm. to life. Wozniacki is not going to give this away lightly because only herself, Andreescu and Mertens are the only seeds in this bottom section of the lower half of the draw. There's a semi-final spot up for grabs. Forty fifteen. Thank you for uh, reminding me. <laughs> it's the bottom bottom section of the top half of the draw. Yeah, well, well, it's confusing because the men played their top half first and the women played their top game half of the second. That was a very straightforward game, though, from yeah. Caroline. And, and she remains in touch in this opening set. Four for a set. So can the youngster close here on her debut on the Arthur Ashe Stadium? And it's serve out for this opening set. Oh. Keep questioning whether one side is harder to play on with the shadow, and it hasn't. It hasn't been Love apparent uh, yet. But the sun is. I mean, it's a sort of a. There's a sort of a haze. Above, isn't there? But uh, looking right up into the, the, the lunchtime sun. Well, that's awfully good play from Andreescu yet again. And I thought she, she could actually have come in after she hit that penetrating forehand, but she hit another really good cross court angle and then was ready to come in so it's always you have to always be eager to be coming forward if you once lose it that feeling you don't do it Thirty fifteen. Wozniak he needs to try to slow her down because she's storming at the moment She's just doing something with her ankle. Wasn't it okay? <laughs> Sup 
superb backhand. 40-15. And this young woman, 15 in the world, certainly has not under-promised out here so far in this opening set. Two chances to close it out. That's such an impressive opening yeah. from Bianca and Andrescu. The and the Canadian takes this first Six set games in confident four. form. 6-4 in just 40 minutes. Wozniacki with some running repairs. Second she set. just looked like she jarred that right foot. Wozniacki back. You, you just picked up on it straight away, Virginia. Long time, though, for Andreescu to sit and think about. She's a set up on Ash with her place in the fourth round on the line. So let's see what the Dane can do from here. Serving at the start of this second set. Thank you. Please send a seat. Especially behind players. Thank you. That shadow is being reluctant to move <laughs> today. It seems to be moving slower than normal. Fifty yeah, It's been actually at, well, it's been there for an hour, almost the entire match. They'll be really relieved. Virginia, just order it away, please. We have to we'll order it to hurry up. Well, uh, if there's a little bit of cloud cover, it makes life easy mm -hmm. for everybody. The errors from Andreescu have really predominantly been on the backhand side. It's not that you 15 now. can play her backhand and think it's weaker because it isn't. I mean, you... She does go for a lot on it, though, doesn't mm. she? She takes a big cut. I'm not sure how you should try to play her. I have to... I mean, I'm seeing Wozniacki do her best and mixing it up a little bit and coping. Would have been a winner, I believe, 15, if 13. it had just snuck in. But it's hard. It's just hard to play against Andreescu. She's got everything. That was a smart shot, though, just to see how the foot uh, is going to hold up for Wozniacki. It didn't look entirely like she was thrilled to making that first dynamic step forward. Fifteen forty. That was a slightly depressing shot for Caroline. Caroline's such a popular player here, and and it was so much news about the fact that she played. Uh, she played. She ran the New York Marathon in 2014, I think it was, and then she was living in New York for a bit. And good stories. Said to her, well, so will you do that again? And she said, no way. Yeah, but hang on, Virginia. She didn't train for it. She went out with Serena late the night before. She only had a few hours sleep. I mean, she did it the most for impossible her... way. The marathon? Yeah, she, she went out the night before. That. Yeah. Serena oh, was there at the finish line, which I thought was rather good of her. I thought she did train. Not specific. Not like a she did professional. a few extra, few extra long runs thrown in. This. So, if you're a Wozniacki fan, it is not good news that she has lost the first set. Through the course of the last year, she has lost ten of her last twelve matches when she has dropped the opening set. The only two she has won are here against Wang and Collins from a set down. Oh, yeah, excellent shot. Advantage, Wozniacki. Little blip in Andreescu's game, this last three points. Oh. 
let second service. Deus. Sam, I just have to say that that's what makes her so good, this girl, because she plays three points where she went off the boil a little bit, mm -hmm. made a few errors, and really annoyed her enough to focus down and hit a crunching shot there. Good. Advantage, Andresco. Right in the center of the strings, hit early and with tremendous power. So assured, isn't she? Yeah, first Andres. ever time out on this stadium court. And Andrescu looking very Both good now set and set. set and a break. We've really had a good look at her, what, almost an hour, and you have, Virginia. Where's the, where's the game going to go from here? Where would you like to see the improvements over there? I mean, she's 19. She ain't just 19. Where's it, where's it going to come? Well, I mean, I, I have to say, I've been thinking of these players, Andrescu, Kruger Gaff, uh, Iga Schwantek, the Polish girl, a lot of good ones. And it's going to be, I think, keeping the enthusiasm up, mm -hmm. pacing themselves so that they don't overplay. Because what we've seen in the women's game, as we all know, is the, is the Muguruza um, story. Like, they win a Grand Slam, and then they can't be anybody. We've seen that over and enough. over. So it's more non-tennis management uh, I, I in many ways so. yeah and not and scheduling yeah and i think the tendency is to be suddenly overcome with all this attention that they get and i think it's a distraction and then i think they feel the pressure i mean osaka i mean look at we can how many ostapenko we can name them on probably on the fingers of two hands well, you, you can even talk about someone like Belinda Bencic, who did so yeah. well, struggled. Vekic, who was winning titles at 16. Yeah, and then we go way back to Safina and uh, people like that. That is just magic. She comes to love. under the drop shot and puts it inside out as well. Oh. So it's it's as if the bat ball seems to stay on the strings mm -hmm. a long time. That's a That's a special talent. Wow, she's making the former world number one look really ordinary out here. Fall to love. On a court where she's played two Grand Slam finals. The other player that we haven't mentioned is Katie McNally. She's only 17 and she has variety in her game and i think that will be a key you're going to have to the next wave will have to be able to do more than just hit bullets from the baseline game andresco first love hold of the match andresco leads by two games to love second set It's sort of fun the way the game is at the moment. We've got some really first-class veterans, including Wozniakio, and this wave of terrific young players. Law 15. 
Hasn't been her finest year on tour, though, but I have to say, personally, it's been wonderful. I don't know if you saw the pictures in Tuscany of her wedding in a very swanky spot, Castilian del Bosco. That's where all the, the stars go to get married. And uh, apparently three days, it was just unbelievable fun. Yeah. Sure it was. I saw her at Eastbourne, actually, just a week nine. or so afterwards, and she was just... You know how weddings, I think, can be quite stressful? You know, they had the first day of all the guests flew and they thought the wedding was going to be in Monte Carlo and they got bussed up to Tuscany and there was a day of games and everybody mixing in because they've got very different sets of friends. Can't do that any better than 15, that. 15, 30. Another big wedding coming up on the tennis scene. Nadal? Yes. Maybe. I've got a feeling it will be quite low key, though, knowing Nadal. Hers, hers was certainly not. <laughs> Serena was there, Angie Kerber, Radanska sisters. Lots of very tall basketball men. Pliskova got married when last year, last summer. There were quite a few weddings this year. Oh, well, this is. Fifty getting Fonsi. away from her. I wonder how much that foot is becoming an issue, but Andrescu, as you said, Virginia, it's so poised, focused, locked in, backs herself, believes in what she's doing out here. It's impressive on her US Open debut. No, I don't think uh, Carolina's played badly at all in this match. I mean, she's had... I, I mean, it's just 14 unforced errors in the match. She's just been beaten by the just a little better execution on some of the power shots. This young Canadian Canadian just Andreescu. looks so impressive every time she's on the ball and she extends her lead. Three Andreescu love leads in by the three second games double love, break. Second set and by one set to love. Young talent taking center stage on Ash today and tonight. Andrescu flying here in the second set. Enough. Congratulations, Bianca. Magnificent effort. The ball, I think she thought it was out on her base, so it must have been very close. So instead, she manages to get it back deep and comes in and wham bam at the net. Let She hasn't come, though, from complete obscurity. She'll be a new name for many, but I remember when she was 13, she won Le Petit A, the big junior tournament down in the southern France where all the agents congregate for, to see the very best sort of 12, 13-year-olds in the world. She won that. She also won the under-16 Orange Bowl. 
So those are both on clay, right? Yeah. Nice. I'm not sure well. the orange ball is. Sometimes it, it, it's tops and 13, changed. 15. It used to be on clay. I've got a feeling it's on hard courts now. And she won junior slams in doubles as well. Yeah. So she wasn't the best junior, but she was there or thereabouts. Well, I mean, it's, it's amazing because suddenly her ranking just went up like like a meteor <laughs> meteors go up and and her prize money i mean you look at her prize money and it was bef it's like in a um, couple of millions point something and now and it was <laughs> it was all in the last few months Well nice, really nice. Thirty out. Just speeding on the scraps here at the moment. Yeah. Former world number one. He hasn't had a lot of good wins coming in here over this American summer. Always has her own personal wardrobe, her personal designer. <laughs> Stella McCartney still? It certainly was. It's nice. There's that forehand down the line that 40. has been added to her repertoire. Lovely shot. And is Bianca going to have a little bit of a tension-filled period trying to close this out? Well, game of Wozniacki. It's one of the breaks back. And Wozniacki still very much alive in this second set. Andreas leads by three games to one. And don't forget, came second back set. a set down in both her opening matches here at this year's US Open. Set down to Wong and also set 6-4 down to Danielle, the American Danielle Collins. Just a reminder of the website, usopen.org. That's where you can get all your merchandise as well. The towels are particularly good this year. Well, I mean, 15. I, it is so impressive. Andrescu just was being beaten by Wozniacki in that last series of points, and so she has to do something a little bit different, and sure she does. Six, uh, 10 out of 12 points at the net. But I tell you, I've always, from the very first time I set eyes on Wozniacki when she was doing well, you, it was so hard to win the final point against her. She would have be match points down, and she would still win matches. Love fighting. How good was that point? It's a game of texture, isn't it? Of layers. It's not that she just doesn't, not that she vol just volleys well, Virginia. It's how she moves around the net. When she comes in, it's all there. Yeah, it's great. Like she's been transported from the 70s or 80s. Well, great anticipation. Let for service. Love 40. You know, 
I, I've said so many times that Wozniacki has added this down the line forehand to her repertoire. And she used to be, she was so, so good anyway, but she really had difficulty hitting a penetrating shot down the line. Andreescu can hit the ball cross court down the line, change direction, do whatever she feels like doing. Court shot is, of course, a percentage shot in tennis. Fifteen forty. I don't know whether she changed her mind on that or or what. Yeah, she's got an awful lot of shots. I think they've taken it's taken a while to get them all sorted out over the years. Mm -hmm. Serve. 30 faulty. Classic Wozniacki. Break the point down nine times out of ten. She'll put down a first serve. Uh, and a good one. Still got a chance here, though, the Canadian. Well, the temptation will be to just try to hit the cover off this one. Yes. That's, that's what can happen. Sylvain Bruno, who was very much headed up the program for all these talented young Canadians. They've got a very good system there, and it's starting to bear fruit, both in men's and the women's game. Does he ever react? Yeah, the this feels like a very big moment in the context of this third round match in a section of the draw that is wide open. That's a big dig from Game the line 40 and Drescu just has blinked and Wozniacki stays in touch, but it's the Canadian uh, who leads, leads by, by a set three and games three two. to two. Second set, ten by one set to love. Players are ready. Back on serve in this, who's just set up, excuse me, I'm going mad here. <laughs> it's day six, upper break in the second set. Definitely Love swing 15. in the momentum here. One, two, three, four, five, six points in a row for Wozniacki. Fifteen hours. It's been a challenge as yet. No, and I wouldn't waste your energy making a challenge on that. Ooh. 15 30. I mean, what Bianca does not want to do is be giving away easy points here, errors or double faults.
50 40. I can't emphasize enough how hard it is to actually put Wozniacki away. Wow. Yes, she has won just a single point in the last, what, eight or nine. Game of the Aki. Different look now. New Things have gone rather wonky for the young Canadian. The Dane leveling up in this second set. Three, Three games, games in a row. Seven sets. That was a big run there, wasn't it? Wow. You do the maths. Uh. Well, yeah, it, did. it was five what, one points in, in a row yep. and then six. Yep. And as an, up another four, six, uh, uh, ten, nine out of ten. Uh, This is tennis for you. It's so hard. Suddenly you can blink, and then suddenly all your winners are you're just hesitating for a split second and going out. All those great matches played in Indian Wells, I seem to remember exactly the same thing happening. You know, she would be virtually serving for the match and suddenly 5-3 yeah. or something. The next thing she was 5-6 yeah. down and having to win it in a tie break or something dramatic. So maybe she likes a little drama. <laughs> she needs a little help from Wozniacki. Love 30. Wozniacki, one of the steadiest players ever, and she does not blink. Let's first have us. Needed apology. Love 40. It's a super point from Wozniacki, and she really did get unlucky here. She's in position, she's got the whole net covered except the one that the tape interferes with. So a whole load of break points flying around at both ends. 15 40. Shot. 30 40. Caroline is not going to give this away. Caroline never gives anything away. And these break point conversions are becoming an issue now. She's broken the dame four times, five times actually. I haven't actually got the backhand errors here, but they the but most of the errors are coming from it's close. That's more like it. Gets the conversion. Yeah, and pushes ahead once more. Andrescu up a break in the second. Andrescu leads by four games to three. Second set. And by one set to love. Andrescu up a break once more in this second set. Oh. 
pretty bright up looking at your surf at your tots from that end. What does happen to Andreas is, is that she gets she's so psyched out there. She's almost gets a little too hyper, and uh, I think as time goes by and she's used to winning in the big events, she'll learn to just play one point at a time and keep that focus very rigid. Yeah, I mean, let's put this into context. 12 months ago, Wozniacki was the second seed here. Andreescu was losing in the first round in the qualifying. It's <laughs> been a mighty big leap. And, you know, I was trying to get the, the numbers for how much money she, in her career, it's 2.4 million. And <laughs> this year it was 2.2 million. Mm. So in all those other years, uh, not that many, but she'd only made a couple of hundred, which is not a lot for a top player. Some pretty nice prize money for mm -hmm. this tournament. Oh, made it. Beautiful. Always sees the spaces, does Wozniacki. Great anticipation as well, and Wozniacki in a little trouble here, and this was a clever shot, but she didn't really close into the net after she hit that volley. She just sort of hung around on the service line. Or he could have gone either way, I think. Definitely, I think she gets a little, just a little over anxious. There was a little look actually from Wozniacki down the other end. She's, I mean, not all players know what's happening on the other side of the net, but, but Caroline is one of them, and she can see how shaky the teenager is becoming, and eyeing up, and an immediate break back here. Having a look there has been in the last five games. It's been five, eight, nine break points. It's been it's been busy. Ah. And that's wild. And wild Wozniacki. So, once again, we are back on serve, and the destination of this second set largely unknown. Four games of second set. Very, very even at this point. No advantage to anybody. If there's any momentum flow, it is going with Wozniacki at the moment. Slightly. from the two of them. Love 15. Some excellent tennis. It's a good comeback, though, because let's just remind ourselves, Andrescu led set and three love double break and also had Wozniacki at love 40 at 3-1 up. So really should have been 4-1. Love 30. She sure knows how to put on the afterburners, doesn't she? Mighty shots.
I love well, faulty. We're lined up here for a fourth consecutive break of serve at the back end of the second set. Big push from the teenager. It's actually been the love faulty shot that that she hasn't mm -hmm. point that she hasn't played that well. So I think it's important for Andreescu to concentrate on this. What can you do with that, though? What a gorgeous 15, shot. 40. I mean, Wozniacki knows if she hits that backhand, serve to the backhand, it's probably going to go there. That's been the pattern, and then she's got an opportunity to nail one down the line. And it is another break. Andres leads by five games to four second sets in the, sec in the and fourth by one round. Set to love. Let the first service. I can't believe it. I, I mean, that really was mind-boggling because the two of them were hitting the ball so hard and uh, suddenly out of the blue comes this quick shot and she gets an angle. It's not that easy to get that sort of angle off such a hard-struck ball oh, down the line. She is strong at the end of her range. Goodness me. What a start to this game. Love. I mean, that was a great rally altogether. I mean, uh, Bianca taking chances going in, swing volleys, scared to put them anywhere other than up straight up the middle. But then knowing that Wozniacki would be in at the net and she had to roll one, lowered her feet. Two points away now. Faulty love. Looking to be the first teenager this year at the US Open to be through to the fourth round. Three match points for the young Canadian. It's a brilliant finish. Game of set a match, Andreescu. Two and sets Canada have a six win four, in the fourth four. round. Exceptional from Bianca Andreescu. And she wins in an hour and a half. Straight sets once again over Caroline Wozniacki.